you guys welcome back to the enlightened logger channel as you can hear it's a little breezy out here on the landing so jake and i which make up two-thirds of the junkyard crew are headed up here on the mulch pile say hello jake we're gonna check the temperature in his rectum uh no we're not definitely not doing that we've got uh this four foot thermometer here we're climbing up on the double ground mulch pile and we are going to check the temperature of it because that's part of our apparently our bonding agreement or our uh you know licensing and everything that we've got to be able to process material here is we have to check it periodically make sure it's not getting too hot and if it does we have to roll it over accordingly so because this has been sitting here for a bit we have to recheck it and roll it and go through the process as you can tell by how long i've been walking this pile is massive go to the edge here look down over it give you some perspective pile is. it's pretty awesome up here but we've got a storm front coming in here so it's getting a little windy what do we got for temperature there pokey stuff it down in there watch it climb Still going. It's hot. Yeah, it is. It's, it's pushing on 140 so far. Alright, we'll do 140 there. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> See where she taps out. I know for my compost pile at home, between 120 and 155 is the range that you're looking for. Uh, that means everything's breaking down appro uh, appropriately and going to turn into good compost. Any hotter than that, and then you've got problems because it's starting to kill the good bacteria as well. So here we are at about 146, 148 or so. Well, we'll check a couple more spots. Far down you gotta go. Yeah, We're gonna watch Jake here collapse this part of the pile and fall down in it. And of course, if he buries himself in an avalanche of mulch, I will laugh. Uh, then I will set down the camera. Don't jinx me. And uh, <laughs> I will save his ass. Uh, but you know, hopefully, you'll get a good angle on this so we can make sure and put this up on YouTube for everybody that likes to watch us and our crazy shenanigans. I mean, at most he'd only fall about eight or 10 feet, so it really shouldn't be that bad. Should be a pretty soft landing. Jake said he had a pretty big lunch, so if nothing else, it'll be entertaining to watch him try and work his way out. Let's see. I'll walk over here. Yeah, look at that, guys. That's pretty toasty. We're gonna have to do some rolling here. So, anywho, we're gonna keep checking this mulch pile. I just want to put together this quick video for you. Just another cool thing we get to do here in the junkyard. We got lots more content coming, lots more tree work coming. Stick with us, guys. Hooper! <laughs> you distracted me and shit! <laughs> I'm over here minding my own business, walking around, and this clown 
falling out. <laughs> he can't get up now. That's right. Yeah, there's my buddy John over there yelling at me about being an asshole. And then <laughs> I'm laughing at Jake. Now I gotta give him a hand up. <laughs> He's just floundering around. Oh god, that was I'm awesome. Too fat for this shit. Oh, it was good. Oh. Good stuff. <laughs> this is good stuff. All right. Oh, now he's panting heavily because he's an equipment operator now and he's not a climber anymore, so he's not really in good shape. <laughs> oh, guard dogs are going crazy. Like, what are those two retards doing up there on the pile of mulch? <laughs> I lost my pen. Oh. Yeah, so far we got uh, 175 and 190 at the other end. So yeah, that's pretty toasty. <laughs> Keep on going here after Jake catches his breath. Well, I can hammer you. <laughs> uh, not just me, the whole world's watching soon. <laughs> or at least they have the capability to. Well, here he is, bending the shaft. He's breaking his sweat. It's hot. Appreciate you all stopping by. Have a great day.